interest in science, curse technology and science and sexuality and everything positive and good, and live in this uh, dark cloud of religion, you know, um, and anti-sexual secrecies and all this other stuff. So anyway, I mean, that's the interesting thing, that, that that really is an amazing thing. Like, my quote, I have a, a lot of quotes about this, um, this recording of what a person sees. And uh, I basically say, you know, on March 2nd, 2009, it looks like there is now very solid evidence that what a brain sees can be seen without ever touching the body. These images of various shapes and in particular letters show clearly that what a brain sees can be seen and that this technology should be developed to ease communication, to capture images of dreams, and to fully explore the health benefits and natural scientific benefits that this technology may uncover. So I think that's uh, that was one of the first things I thought about. And, um, you know, basically scientists in Japan, Miyawaki et al., in a collaboration of Japanese universities and ATR computational neuroscience laboratories in Kyoto, Kyoto, Japan, published visual image recognition, uh, recon- I'm sorry, visual image reconstruction from human brain activity using a combination of multi-scale local image decoders in Neuron Magazine, which shows images that a brain sees using fMRI, functional magnetic resonance imaging. This is first public publication. This is the first public publication that shows images seen by a brain that I'm aware of. Although it very well may be that the first images captured of what a brain sees may date back as far as 200 years ago to William Wollaston and other scientists in England. This is perhaps the best physical piece the best piece of physical evidence that proves that what a brain sees can be seen without having to touch the brain. Yang Dan et al. and others had produced images that a brain sees. However, this requires a physical connection to the brain. So um, this paper uh, really is, I think, um, this really is an amazing and fantastic development and achievement for science. This publication in Neuron provides the most solid piece of evidence to date that the images produced by brains can be seen and will definitely be seen clearly by everybody and anybody very soon, most likely within most of our lifetimes, and that this technology is not one or two hundred years away in the future as some had thought. These images are a major advance and turning point into the future. And I think we will see cameras that can capture the images in the brains of all the species very soon, in a few years. In addition, this opens the scientific questions about capturing the sounds produced and played back in the brains of all species. Beyond that, the inevitable next examination leads to the idea of remotely stimulating images, sounds, and other sensations in brains remotely stimulating these images, you know, in our brain and sounds in our brain. Um, you know, there just is not a lot of coverage about this article in the major media. Just a few bloggers. Um, you know, the wonderful thing is that these images have been fully published and are public, and that cannot be reversed or denied. So anybody can say, in quotes, did you know that the images that we see can be seen without ever having to touch the brain? It's true. Researchers in Japan published images of shapes and letters in December 2008 in the science journal Neuron. It simply is a fact that what we see can be seen without having to wear electrodes, without having to wear electrodes or anything, and that is amazing. At least I think so. Uh, you know, it's interesting that they publish a video too, um, which can be seen in the electronic version. Uh, you know, much of my work detailing uh, and modeling Francesco Grimaldi's so-called diffraction experiments are videos, and uh, you know, I don't know how those would be published uh, because most journals don't contain videos. So this is a hopeful thing. Uh, it's funny, you know, a friend. I'm just reading this. You know, a friend uh, at uh, biotelly.com had sent me this link. Uh, with the neuron image and I only had time to quickly look at it and I thought it was on a Friday and I thought this looks nice this looks very promising Uh, you know if true we may have the first physical images made public of thought uh, or certainly of what eyes see 
I had a feeling that this image was from a major science publication, but it wasn't until I saw on Monday morning that this neuron image is from a legitimate science journal and was published in December 2008. And so now I fully realize the massive importance of this article, and in particular, these images. So um, those are my statements. And so, you know, okay, see, I'm, I'm going on for hours and hours, but I made my statement then. Here, yeah, that's that's a fact, and I think we've reached a, a turning point in the history of humanity. Uh, maybe not, uh, a, you know, a massive one, but nonetheless, a very large step forward uh, for all of humanity and life of Earth. So, uh, uh, that's a good thing.